Hey, what's going on, people? Welcome to my YouTube channel. I know it's been a while, but to be honest, I've literally just been dealing with uni, uni life, uni revision, <laughs> just like living and by myself, just everything to, that comes along with uni. I told myself I am going to stick to YouTube and I haven't for the past two months. I've been prioritizing my TikTok. Uh, but yeah, if you don't already, go check out my TikTok at StudyPlate. It's the same as my YouTube, but I doubt you're watching this video and you're not following me on TikTok. But if it is like that, then fair enough. Go check out my TikTok, please. But yeah, I've been putting this video back because I've been wanting to get a haircut, but then I just haven't had the time to go get one and I thought it's not that deep. Anyway, here's how I got A star in maths and pure maths was without a doubt my favourite A-level, favourite content to learn, favourite content to revise. And pure maths, I don't think I got below 90% in year 13, not going to lie. Stats and mechanics, however, that's a different story, but don't worry, you'll still do well in it. Okay, the first tip I think everyone should follow which is something I did in year 11 as well that helped me get an eight in maths is ask questions in lesson. Actually understand what's being taught. Understand what's being, what's on the white, on the smart board, whiteboard, whatever. By the way, if I'm looking here and not here, it's because I'm looking at myself instead of looking at the camera like thing. So I'm sorry if my eyes are not straight. <laughs> but yeah, I'll say it. Ask questions in lesson. If there's something on the board that you don't understand or just like you don't know how that steps or why that, why that step's being done, ask the question because maths is about understanding. It's not about memorizing. If you memorize steps, there's no point of doing maths. You need to understand why that's happened. Like you need to understand, for example, when you differentiate something, what's the point of it? When you in integrate, what's the purpose behind it? Because you're gonna get questions where they ask you to do something and you need to know what to do in that situation. I know some people, their teachers aren't really good at explaining, however, um, I was very lucky in this situation where my teachers were really good at explaining to me why, why something happens. Don't feel embarrassed to ask questions in class because there's a very high chance someone else in that class has the same question as you or has the same concerns that you have and they're just not asking it. And even if they don't, it doesn't matter. People will literally come up to me saying, you're like one of the, you're getting, you're getting the highest grades in exams but you're asking like some of the most stupid questions in lesson. And it's because I just need to understand it. Like, I can accept that during the lesson, I know nothing, uh, the teacher knows everything, and I need to learn, I need to understand. So by asking questions, you help yourself understand and eventually you do well on the test because when you go home to revise, you actually know what you're doing. Talking about going home and revising, this is what you're gonna have to do when you go home. So every day that you have a math lesson, go home and just read through your notes. Like read, when I, when I was uh, in math, like, for example, when the teacher would run through a question, I'll write down the question I'll write down each step, for each step I'll write a note if I need to it's about why he's done that or like any questions I've asked, anything that I've needed like just to note down about the question, I'll write it down. I'll go home and I'll read through that, try to understand it all and then I'll watch TL Maths, I'll leave it on here, TL Maths, he's really good at explaining it. I did edXL Maths and he was really good, I'm not sure if he does any other exam boards but he was actually really good at helping explain everything to me, uh, help me understand everything. Also Zishan Zamorad, I'm not sure how to say his second name, but I'll leave it on here. Uh, these two YouTube channels help me a lot. Zishan is specific to edXL because he went through the exact same textbook that I use, which is the Pearson edXL one. It was Active Learn, I think. But yeah. So after reading through my own notes, watching a YouTube video, I would have some sort of idea as to how that certain section is and how that certain section works. So then I'll go do some past paper questions. I'll do some normal questions. My school gave me access to Pearson edXL Active Learn. So I'll use Active Learn to uh, use the textbook. It's a blue textbook. And I'll just um, do the questions in that because it'll be like specific to each subject. But you can find there's thousands of questions online. You can go like physics and maths to or anything. You can go find questions there and just answer questions. Because I think out of maths, chemistry, biology, obviously past paper questions are the most important thing in all of them but they were most important in maths because it helps you understand it so much homework is another thing in maths i think maths homework is probably the most useful homework we got given because most of the time it will literally just be questions to do with that topic and obviously we'll have like deadlines or whatever i would just um leave the homework to like the weekend so it'll be like a recap of what i did that week and i'll just do it so i know i've spoken a lot so far so i'll just summarize every step that I've gone through in this video at the moment. First step was to ask questions in lesson. 
make sure you understand it, ask the teacher to explain it to you, even if it's a stupid question, still ask it. You need to understand it in lesson. And make notes as to what them, what, like anything in lesson, anything that will help you understand what's going on. Second step is to come home and watch a YouTube video, TL Maths, Zishan, anyone. Um, watch a YouTube video on the topic and read through your own notes just so you get some sort of idea about how it works. Third step is to do questions. Personally, I use Pearson Active Learn and Physics and Maths Tutor. There's multiple other uh, websites out there. You've got like Maths Genie, Maths Made Easy. You can get questions from everywhere. On the weekends, I'll do my homework or I'll do it in my free periods. Like homework was good for maths just because it's just like a recap of the topic. And then I'll do past paper questions as well on the weekend. So this is the exact same routine that uh, I'll use for stats and mechanics as well. It's just I didn't enjoy stats and mechanics as much as pure, so I didn't put as much effort as I should have into it because I knew that my pure score will bring up my stats and mechanics score. So that's just a sacrifice I made because I just didn't enjoy it. However, I did still get a star in my A-level maths. I think the most important thing I done was to actually understand what's going on and so I asked questions in lesson and watched YouTube videos to help me understand and then did questions to apply that knowledge of understanding. And if I don't understand anything, I'll ask my teacher or I, I have friends, like I wasn't the smartest guy in my class. There's people in my class that were much better than me at maths. So I go to them and ask them to explain it to me. I think asking other students is really good because they have their own ways of understanding stuff that might be easier for you to understand. A teacher is just going to teach you one way, but students are going to find their own ways to try and understand it. So if you can get someone else to explain it to you, it might be beneficial to you. During exam season, I'll literally just use TR maths to go through the content and then I'll do questions. That was literally it. My, my routine for exam season was TR maths and exam questions. Hopefully I've covered everything in this video. I did want to put as much detail as I can into the YouTube video because I have made a TikTok video as well, which obviously wouldn't be as in depth because I don't have as much time. I've tried to cover every step and I think I have. If you have any questions, please comment or message me on Instagram at studyplate. I reply to most DMs. So yeah, if you have any concerns, hit me up. I'll try to get back to you. And thanks for watching. Leave a like if you want. Like, yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. Follow my TikTok if you don't. I don't know what else I need to promote, but yeah, uh, thanks for watching and good luck with your maths A-level.